Hey guys, what's up? So it's now the Scorpio time of the year and Helcurt skin is now available in the Zodiac Summon event. He looks clean with his white robe. So in this game, I'm going to try out Helcurt's Zodiac skin. I'm playing with Aeok in rank and LB our team's jungler. But before everything else, I can see some tough ones in the enemy's lineup. So I think I'll need to change my build. By the way, I used two different builds for Helcurt. And I'll tell you the reason why later in the game. But wait a minute, there's a black hairy thingy on Helcurt's back. I think there's a visual bug on Helcurt's zodiac skin right now. It looks fine, I guess. Anyway, Helcurt is one of the simplest assassins in the game because his skills are easy to understand. Level up his second skill because it's basically his main source of damage. Once leveled up, he can collect additional stingers by doing basic attacks. It can be stacked up to 4 times and those stacked stingers gets released when the skill is used. Keep in mind though that each stack only lasts for 8 seconds. Helcurt's first skill is a mobility skill where it makes him blink to an area. All nearby enemies where Helcurt blinks receives damage and are slowed for 1.5 seconds. His passive skill on the other hand is like a defense mechanism. Whenever Helcurt receives any CC skill from an enemy, the same enemy gets silenced for 1.5 seconds. And this passive of his has a cooldown of 4 seconds. In case you don't know yet, Silence is one of the unique crowd controls in the game where it prevents an enemy from using any of his skills for a short time. Last is Helcurt's ultimate. It's like a creepy phenomenon where a quick solar eclipse happens and once it goes back to normal, you already lost an ally. Did I explain it right? Anyway, the ultimate's passive gives Helcurt a permanent increase in attack speed each time it's leveled up. If used, it will give Helcurt movement speed and another increase in attack speed that lasts for 8 seconds. In the first 3.5 seconds of the skill, the enemy's range of vision is decreased and makes them lose sight of their allies. Also within the duration, Helcurt's first skill is enhanced. The enhanced first skill has a wider range and can silence the enemies within the targeted area. Lastly, while the ultimate is active, you won't lose any stats from your second skill. Well, that's basically how all of his skills work. Simple, right? Unlike the newly released heroes where it gets more and more complicated. Before I played, I was curious where Helcurt is on the current ranking. Shockingly, he's one of the most unpopular heroes right now. He's now the least big assassin this season. I think it's a bit unfortunate since he even has his own zodiac skin. In case you don't know yet, you can kill jungle creeps faster like this. After using this skin, I think the skill effects are a bit similar to Harley's latest collector skin. The cloud effects from the stinger and his blink seems identical to Harley's. Well played guys! Time to go! Hey, it's okay! You can stop now! Huh? I wonder if Johnson is lagging or he just hates the tower. The second turtle is up. I hope no one comes to steal it. One of the things I like about Helcurt is his passive. In terms of a 1 vs 1, Helcurt's passive makes it hard for enemies with combo skills to burst him down. His passive silence can give him time to retaliate for a counter burst or retreat with his blink instantly. Just a moment ago, Franco used his ultimate on me, but luckily, it got cancelled with my passive. I guess even the suppressed CC can get cancelled by the silence.
effective when using Helker. Always have stats ready. His second skill is his only burst damage output, so you'll need it before a clash happens. I'm on fire. Unfortunately though, Ruby was still in her full health. If only she had lower HP, I could have gotten that Wavage? Yeah, I could have gotten that Wavage. Anyway, if you remembered, I changed my build earlier in the game and here's the reason why. This is the usual build that I use for most games when there are fewer CC heroes from the enemies or more squishy ones. And here's the other build, which I'm using right now, because the enemy has CC and sustain heroes. In addition to this build, I find Hunter Strike useful because of the additional movement speed from its passive. It's easily activated by using your second skill at full stats. And that additional movement speed can be used for chasing an enemy or retreating from them. Lastly, I tend to change this Berserker's Fury to Immortality depending on the game situation. Here, I'm being complimented by Cyclops. He's simply saying that he loves me in a different kind of sense. The Lord is about to respawn. I think it's better if we can end the game as early as possible. Helcart is strong during the early game, but he loses his effectiveness the longer the game gets. Turret! Launch attack! 
Halkert seems deadly, he still got a lot of downsides. I think these are the reasons why most assassin players doesn't prefer him. First is his second skill. Though it deals a lot of damage, it has this short delay, allowing the enemy to dodge. If you cast it to the enemy near you, and they move to the side, even just for a bit, you'll miss most of your second skill. Second is Halkert's extreme reliance on his ultimate. He is quite strong when he uses his ultimate and can almost guarantee a kill. But if you try to get in a clash without it, one wrong move Fender death. Another thing about his ultimate is that it has an annoying long cooldown. If you use it and didn't get a kill, you're pretty much useless until it goes down again. Another one is his stack gain. There are just these troubles sometimes when you need to go to the jungle just to get stacks before going back to a clash. Sometimes it's a combination of both. Aside from being squishy, if you have no staff and ultimate during a clash, you're almost useless. This is what I was talking about earlier. It becomes harder for Halkert in late games like this. I guess I wasn't able to steal it. We managed to defend our base. But then, it's already 22 minutes. Both teams' bases are destroyed. And the score is almost equal. One wrong move can cost us the game. We're one man short, and our tab is at the bottom lead. The best thing that we can do right now is to not die. We can't be reckless now, we're still one man short. The door is now available, the team who gets it will win. My teammates are trying to take the door, I think it's a bad decision. Now the enemies are trying to take the Lord instead. This is a crucial moment, but if I'm able to steal it, we we'll win. Here goes nothing.
I managed to still live and even kill their marksman. I think this game's decided. So what can you say about Helkert's Zodiac skin? Why is he the lowest used assassin in ranked games? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.